Hey guys, Tim here, AKF2 Fan31, bringing you week one of the Burnt Tower Draft League. And today we start the season off with a battle against the Canalave City Cinderaces with their coach PT333, or 333, uh, however you want to say it. Um, yeah, not much to say about these standings right now because it's week one. <laughs> um, is there things that have already happened. I see Jordi and Fat Cats winning their first games against Aryan and Lou Drixie or uh, Oyai or whatever it's called on uh, the Discord server. I saw Willow win 3-0 from Delo Smash and Kent Hade and VLB Balong. Um, went to Balong with a 1-0 score um, but yeah not too much about that of those games I'm going to focus on my own game here today and uh, my opponent drafted a well at least a very interesting team um, Dragapult, Urshifu Single Strike, Terrapagos, Terrapagos, whatever you would, uh, want to call it, uh, Corviknight, Toxtricity, Slowking, Torterra, Ribombi, and Glaceon. Um, Torterra, Toxtricity, and Glaceon are his Terra Captain, or their Terra Captains. Um, Torterra being Ground, Fairy, and Fire. Toxtricity being Poison, Normal, and Stellar. Interesting. Uh, to see how that goes, and Glaceon being Ice, gr Electric, and Ground. Um, yeah, pretty hard and tough team to prep for, but I th do think I managed to uh, prep pretty well for this team. And we're starting off with Mega Pidgeot, aka Falcon, as a special sweeper with 180 uh, EVs in speed, 252 in. Um, special attack 72 in HP and 4 in special defense um, with this much speed I will always outspeed a non banded Urshifu single strike and the reason I went with this speed stat because um, agility basically um, I want to have something like the Torterra or the slow king to set up an agility against and then hit very hard with no guard, heat waves, and hurricanes. Um, so yeah, that's basically the game plan for Falcon. Roost is there for um, yeah to keep it a bit uh, to keep it around a bit longer. Um, if my opponent does get up hazards, I can uh, heal uh, my switch-ins off with Roost. So yeah, just there for the longevity. Uh, Second uh, up is Iron Threads, aka War Machine, being my uh, special wall for this game. 236 uh, HP EVs, 236 Spadef EVs with a careful nature, and 36 EVs in speed. Um, what this does for my speed is ensure I always outspeed Corviknight, and with plus one speed I should be able to even outspeed Ribombi at plus one and um, yeah with Assault Fest I can take uh, lots of special hits from Ribombi, uh, Terrapagos, uh, the Toxtricity very especially the Toxtricity very well um, Glaceon I take pretty well and Slowking I also do take pretty well. I mean Slowking served us 36% or something max. Um, Toxtricity's uh, step moves, Poison and uh, Electric are both immunities for Iron Threats and Stellar. Um, yeah, not sure how that goes in defense but offensively we'll see. So, um, yeah, basically if he goes for terrestrialized uh, Toxtricity for a sweep, I always have War Machine to bring that to a stop. Um, Earthquake is mainly there for the Toxtricity, but um, also has a nice stab option. 
body press is for the Urshifu, for if I expect it to switch in, it's for the Terrapagos, uh, Heavy Slam is for a Bombi, for the Glaceon, and again Rapid Spin to get rid of hazards and boost my speed at the same time. Third is uh, Primarina Namor, my physical wall this week. Um, yeah, it's not the first time I bring physical wall Primarina and it served me pretty well against the Urshifu single and this week it will probably do so as well with 248 in HP and uh, max uh, physical defense with a bold nature and the Kebia Berry I should always live a uh, poison jab from the Urshifu single strike and Moonblast with my already high base special attack is always an Oko on the Urshifu uh, besides that, I also will Dragapult pretty well. Um, yeah, depending on the set, um, I do take his special hits a bit lesser than normal because I don't have special defense investment, but still, um, I can wall the Glaceon pretty, pretty well without freeze dry. Um, Slow King does not do all that much damage versus me, so. Um, yeah, Scold, Moonblast, Ice Beam for damage, Aqua Ring for uh, some overtime recovery. Um, so yeah, fourth up is Delmice aka Glamora, which will be my physical wall and my sweep stopper. And very interesting, I know, um, I'm gonna tell you how exactly. Um, first of all, Glamora. Gamora has a Choice Scarf with 160 speed EVs and the rest in HP and physical defense with Impish Nature. Um, Scarf makes it so I always outspeed Torterra. And like I said, I have something for a Toxtricity Sweep, but I did not have anything for a Torterra Sweep. So if uh, Torterra wants to set up, uh, I can use, use Switcheroo on him. Give it the choice scarf and he will basically be locked into using shell smash um, until he switches out and after that he can't set up because he will always be locked into that same shell smash if he uh, chooses to do so uh, furthermore i have knockoff for support and power whip and poltergeist to uh, have some stab damage um this thing does wall um, mainly the Torterra pretty well. Uh, maybe it can somewhat wall Rebombi, but have to see. Um, I've got the Terra Dark on it for uh, the for if he brings physical Dragapult. So his Ghost type moves will do uh, much less damage to me. So kinda for two Pokemon, but. Um, yeah, in prep it did work pretty well, so we'll see. Uh, the Mon I built first, uh, but um, I built it physical, and later I thought, why am I b going to build it physical? Because um, my opponent only has two uh, special defensive Mons, and the rest is all pretty physical defensive, so I transformed Infernape from a physical to a special attacker, and Captain America, aka Infernape, um, like I said, is a now a special attacker. With 168 speed EVs, I ensure it to outspeed the Urshifu single strike without a scarf. Um, and after I set up an agility, I always outspeed even Dragapult. Um, I have enough uh, attack EVs to uh, knock out Dragapult with a knockoff. And Aura Swift, Flamethrower have always something for at least every Mon. Um, yeah, besides the Dragapult, but that's why I have Knockoff. Rebombi doesn't live a Life Orb Flamethrower. Urshifu doesn't li live a um, Life Orb Aura Swear. Terrapakos doesn't take two Aura Swears, but if I get up my uh, Hazards, um, it doesn't live a Aura Swear because um, Terrapagos basically has a uh, ability like multi-skill where um, moves do half damage and because of its uh, 
and special or super effective moves do even uh, do a quarter damage instead of half so pretty big but if i have my hazards up it does not really matter uh toxtricity doesn't uh, take a flamethrower all too well just like corvonite and glacial that both die to it uh torterra dies to a flamethrower and knockoff against sloking is a two shot i believe so this thing will be breaking here my opponent's team pretty hard and last but not least the way i get up my hazards is Tinkerton aka Thor which will be supportive and a physical wall um, yeah basically he already has a lot of special defense with 105 base special defense and leftovers will be healing him up uh, steadily over time I want to get up my um, hazards aka my stealth works um, it can uh, thunder wave my opponents, hopefully Dragapult or Rebombi, and maybe even the Urshifu single. So that way um, I don't even have to set up an agility and play rough and heavy slam. Um, basically um, hits most things for at least neutral. I don't think Toxtricity takes uh, neutral damage both moves are resisted by it and Corviknight doesn't take a super effective hit from this but like I said I have other uh, answers for those so um, these are my months for week one I'm really looking forward to it and I want to start off this season positive so let's hope we can get a W on week one um, see you at the battle up the Vivalons so I got the invite from PT, so let's see. And yeah, everything I expected him to bring. And I'm going to live battles at the Lugia Spectator. Good luck, have fun. So, um, let's see, for my debut in the Lugia division. Um, let's think about this. Uh, Tink is a pretty good matchup against Dragapult. Uh, Shifu, choice band, can't Oko me. And Corviknight. Fiscal Defensive, yeah, not much of a threat. <sighs> oh, reconnect. This is going to happen a lot for people who haven't watched this video, these videos from me. Um, Slow King can probably do, can do much. Slow King. And... How about Torterra? Before Smash, I Fine and Terrapacos. Um, and I need to reconnect again. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. It. Um, yeah, I think I'll start off with my. Uh, Tinkerton and set up rocks. And yeah, there we go. Terrapacos Alatrion. Not sure what that stands for, but whatever. Um, Terra. Oh, Terrapacos. Terra Stellar. Let's say Flamethrower. Or Earth Power from a Max Special Attack. Mother's Nature, I should live easily. So I think I'll start off with a T Wave. Everything that switches in except for the Torterra would take it. Earth Power 35%. Oh, 35. Let's see. 
neutral nature. So... Oh, this thing is probably defensive. Good to know. I can set up stealth rocks. <laughs> Fine again. And... Uh, let's think. I can go for a heavy slam and scout what damage I will do. Or I go into my Mega Pidgeots. Won't be doing that much though. So I think I'll go for a heavy slam now. 26. He spins. And... I break his Terra Shell. So, with 74%. That looks already better. I know Earth Power and Rapid Spin. Um, rapid Spin. So, probably no investment in there as well. So, it's purely defensive. Uh, hmm. Let's see, second heavy slam. I always, or at least I should live in Earth Power there. Hmm. 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 Not really sure what I should do. I can set up my stealth works again, but he can spin them away immediately. Or I know he has earth power and I switch into a Pidget. And I set up an agility. That might not even be my worst plan. For now, I mean, I've already got the damage on the Terrapacos that I wanted to break his Terra Shell and uh, let Aura Swear from Infernape kill that thing, so or at least it should kill according to my calcs. I mean, he's waiting, so let's have a quick look see. Infernape, let's say at least max, yeah. Max HP, I kill. <coughs> and how much did my Heavy Slam do? 26. Okay, that's fine with me. Of course, the Para. Um, I sub set up Agility to outspeed things like Dragapult and. Mainly Dragapult! <laughs> um. Agility up, he will... Ice Beam! Ooh! Hurricane is not a Oko. Hmm... I can at least roost once and take neutral damage from this. Much better. And I should be living one now. 27%. Okay, this thing. This thing is fully special, specially defensive. I'm hoping for at least a miss because there's a chance he misses. And I go now to War Machine. <laughs> <clears throat> to live anything he throws at me because that supercell slam that's a physical move yeah I mean if you don't invest anything in yeah he has pretty balanced attack and special attack so but I know all his moves now which is nice he knows some of mine 
Hmm. Sorry, dude. That's tough. Um, body press should do it from here, I think. Threats. No, not even. Damn. Okay. Um, yeah, body press if... Sloking, okay. Not what I expected there. Uh, <laughs> Sloking, sloking. What will you do today? What will you do today? Uh, body press. Yeah, that's max fist death sloking. Um, hmm. Primarina. Doesn't do much against it. And Delmice. Oh, pretty well, but I'm afraid he will chili reception out, so. Hmm. I should take any one hit from this pretty comf comfortably, so. I think I will go for an earthquake here. Yeah, there you go. Called it. Chili reception. <clears throat> 29%. Yeah, that's definitely max fist death. Uh, <laughs> what will you bring in? I am not sure. Torterra. I've got to switch in for that. But let's hope you just go for EQ. Yeah, that was to be expected. And he is White Orb. I'm going to switch you. Give you my scarf. Good sir. And if you switch out into Slow King, Terrapacos. The Terrapac... No, he did not reveal his item yet. It's uh, pretty weird. Maybe... Export belt or something? Uh, yeah, as long as it's not Urshifu or Dragapult, I'm fine with Triss, which will ruin my scarf way to anything. Um, wait, do I need to terrestrialize? No, I do not. I most definitely do not need to terrestrialize. Uh, uh, yeah. That's the bad thing running a game without timer. You can sit here, wait for a while, just doing nothing. Because you already made your move. Shell smash again! My lord, how greedy can you be, my friend? Here, take a scarf. And he will probably go for... Not sure, though. <laughs> what was most effective against it? Uh, let's see, Domice. Or Terra. Uh, yeah, power with Poltergeist is about even. Poltergeist has the better accuracy, so Poltergeist. Terra Fairy, Terra Blast, okay. 77%. Terra Blast. Very. So, I did 47% at minus one defense, my lord. Nope, oh, other way around. Plus four, by the way. And 
before, but with a choice scarf. So yeah, I'm not going to outspeed this thing. And he did 77% to me with Terror Blast. So that tells me he has no attack investment. And the 47% means he's probably max fist death. He is. So he goes for Terror Blast next. And let's see how much he does against threats. Mm, heavy slam from there is a two shot. <clears throat> mm, I need to let something go down for sure. Thor, perhaps. Yeah, I think Thor will be my best bet to let down. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste my terror there. And I go into War Machine. And basically end this thing before it can do more damage than it already has done. So my scarf uh, kind of worked out. I was hoping to trick it while he was setting up Shell Smash. So he was stuck in there and just could not do any damage at all. So I think PT is thinking how he can best use his Torterra now. Does he know Heavy Slam? He does not. Uh, let's see, minus one. Threats. Yeah, that's a two shot for sure. Disturbed. I'm disturbed. Shouldn't it be distributed or something? Well, whatever. I'm not here for semantics. Um, this was his rock setter, I believe. Okay. Yeah, that thing is pretty annoying, I have to admit. Um, this thing can really touch it. And Namor takes at least neutral damage from his attacks. And I'm max fist death, so that should be alright. <coughs> I think my, the most important thing I need to do right now is get in, uh, damn it, uh, get in my uh, Infernape and into a favorable position and get off an agility. If I can do that, I should clean his team up for a, at least a big chunk. <clears throat> and I know Terrapaco's uh, earth power, but he's paralyzed, so could be. Um, at least I stopped the Torterra sweep from happening, that's something right now, but I am not in the best uh, position right now. That's maybe a understatement. 5.5%, <laughs> let's... Let's see, Primarina against a Corviknight U-turn, yeah, that's about that damage, so he is probably a defensive Corviknight and he keeps his offensive threats so far in the back. Torterra is back against Primarina, Torterra's Shell Smash, I know he has no attack investment, but he is choice scarfed um, and he is terra fairy so <clears throat> I can scold it and hope for a burn and see what he will be going for 
Dragapult, okay. Maybe he was hoping I would switch. But I get the burn on the Dragapult. And I will pray Dragapult very hard, so... I do think he be switching now. So I go for an Aqua Ring. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. So... Kebia Berry is mm, still relevant, I believe, for his uh, Urshifu. He's trying to get me a Skull Burn as well. You slack off. Need to keep some available for uh, finishing off his offensive months. I think I'll go for an Ice Beam and Fish for a Burn. Or burn a uh, freeze. He knows my incomplete set now, but I don't really care. Ten percent against the thirty percent. Yeah, there you go. Chili reception, slack off. I mean, I don't really need the uh, ice beam, so I can PP waste it. Oh, of course, scold. But you know, I may be a bigger dumbass than I already thought I was. <clears throat> 12%, 6 okay. Slowly whittling each other down. <laughs> Critical hit. And the burn. How much was a Moonblast? Moonblast was about... 34-ish. Well, let's hope. Corviknights. I know U-turn. That thing is pretty worn down now. So, hmm. I can't switch in. I can't let it switch into a Brave Bird. My Infernape. I know his Corviknight was defensive. And against Infernape, yeah, that's no switching. Um, into Sloking, I Roost, Slack of Scolds, Chili Reception, what will his fourth move be? U-turn, U-turn, four moves, two moves, three moves, it is Chili Reception out, into I reckon, no, not Corviknight. Corviknight is not a safe switch in for him. The Pulse, okay. I agility up. I live a Dragon Meteor. That's pretty big. <clears throat> uh, now I just go Hurricane, I believe. Sloking. 55, nice. Pidget, please do the work for me now. Because he has little to no switch hints to this now. There goes the Sloking. That's one. Okay, now we get now it's getting interesting. Urshifu. Uh, I should always outspeed. I'm not sure if in what circle punch. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was to be expected, honestly. Moonblast. Oh, if I went for Roost there, that would have been so good. But hey, who thinks about Sucker Punch anyway? Let's see, Corviknight is down enough. Oh, the Thunder Punch. Oh, that's so bad. Sucker, Thunder, Wicked Blow. Uh, 
Urshifu, Choice Band. Sucker doesn't do enough, but... Hmm. Um, no choice item, no life orb, lefties perhaps, no weights, um, power whip, mm, hard, 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 hard decisions to be made. Uh, poltergeist. I don't want to click switch switcheroo in case he switches in his. I... Okay. Um, yeah, I just need to get this out now and get rid of that thing. Wait, is he Chopple? Oh, don't say he's Chopple. Okay, he's not. He's switching out. I am not ready to let Captain America take on that thing. So, to th into the threats we go. But, um... I mean, I am pretty much down and out right now. And all I need right now is one agility up from this. Um, I know he is mm, probably mixed. Drag up. Pulse. Drag up. Pulse specs. Draco Meteor without specs is... I live with... I will not. Yeah, I, sh I should switch. But my opponent isn't sure what to do either, so that's something, I guess. Yeah, good call. At least for me. <laughs> He's going to hard switch into probably his Corviknight. Body press for 13%. Okay, that's pathetic. Big oof. Yeah, I was expecting that. So it probably comes down to. Um, Flamethrower at least. Oka, okay, this is a game, I think. Yeah. GG. Well, um, that's not how you want to start a season. <laughs> I seem to always lose my first game, so yeah. Um, I think my biggest misplay here was clicking Hurricane on the Urshifu. If I roosted up, I may have lift. Let's see. Um, Mega Pidgets against a Urshifu. Let's say Choice Band, Sucker Punch. Yeah, I could have lift. Oh well. That's the game we play. Um, at least thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and let's hope we can get a uh, win in the second battle of the season. Bye!